Is it possible to start coding with just your phone? Usually I just say, obviously not. Obviously you need a computer to code, right? But I haven't actually tried. So in this video, we're going to be throwing my computer out of the window and seeing if I can code a full app just using my iPhone. Okay, so to try to solve this problem, we first need to take a step back and figure out what does it even mean to write code? Because at the end of the day, I could just go on my Apple Notes and start writing Python syntax. And the reason why this doesn't work is because there's nothing on my phone that can actually understand that piece of text as Python syntax. All it is, is just text, right? What is it that actually allows your computer to understand it as code rather than as just like some random text? Okay, so I'm grossly oversimplifying here because I'm trying to make this video very short. But essentially how it works is whenever you install a programming language you're not installing the programming language per se you're installing an interpreter or a compiler depending on the language that understands the language's syntax so it's a program on your computer that understands how Python syntax works. And by the way, I'm just using Python as an example here for the rest of the video, but this all applies to any language basically. Then whenever you write text that has Python syntax and you add the .py file extension to your file, your computer understands that, okay, this is Python code. And when you execute that file, it understands to execute it using the Python interpreter, which will then convert that file into machine code according to the instruction that the Python interpreter has which is also known as the Python syntax. So the problem that we need to solve is that instead of having a Python interpreter installed in a computer, we need to get a Python interpreter installed into one of my iPhones. And yes, I've got two iPhones. Okay, I've done some research here. And the first thing I tried is when I go into the app store and just type Python interpreter, there's a couple of options that come up. One of these costs money and I'm not about to pay money for this. So I guess we're gonna be trying this one with an amazing 2.6 stars. Sounds, sounds amazing. So I'm gonna try these apps and report back to you. But before we continue, I wanna thank today's video sponsor, App My Site. App My Site is the world's first ever AI powered mobile app builder to convert your existing WordPress website, like this website that I have myself, into a mobile application without needing a single line of code. Let me show you how it works. All you have to do is go to appmysite.com and click get started for free. Create an account, then add the URL of your website. So I'll do this for my internetmakecoder.com site. Then you can get straight into designing everything from your app logo to possible logging screens and finally the actual app itself in the extremely intuitive and easy to use graphical user interface. They have a couple of different plans based on your needs, starting as low as $19 a month. So just pick whichever one is most appropriate to you. And once you're happy, you can also easily publish your app to both the Google Play Store and the Apple App Store directly via App My Sites dashboard. So if you have a WordPress website and you want to turn it into a mobile app fast and easily, App My Site is the best and the only solution available in the market. So go sign up to App My Site by following the link in the description. Thank you to App My Site for sponsoring my channel and now back to the video. How do I? Uh, okay, what just happened? Um, back. Kind of weird. Okay, so the indentation doesn't work. Uh, okay, so my comprehensive review of this app. This is the worst code editor I used in my life. We'll definitely not be using this to code a full app. Delete. Well, that was a massive failure. So I think we need a different plan. Not only are these apps absolutely terrible, if you were to write some serious programs using your phone, you would anyway be handicapped by the fact that you're using the resources of your phone where the CPU and the power and everything is a lot worse than you normally have with a computer. The phones are just not meant for writing code. But what if you could access a computer's resources and actually write your code in a computer except not have that computer yourself and simply access that computer via your phone. It turns out that could be possible via something called the cloud. 
let me explain. You probably use cloud services a lot already. If you've ever used Google Drive or Apple iCloud, what you're actually doing is storing your files on a different computer, except accessing them via your own computer. This is what a cloud means. There's a lot of use cases for it, and it's also being utilized by a lot of these browser-based IDEs. When you're writing code using their service, you're not actually writing it and interpreting it on your own computer. Instead, you're accessing a different server computer that's located so somewhere else in the world and you're simply controlling that via your own computer. So what I want to do is figure out if we can access one of these browser based coding editors, not with our computer, but with our phone. So let's try that. What I've decided to use for this is Replit because it's a browser ID that I use myself for other stuff as well. Okay, it looks like we can actually access our account. So this could actually work. I'm gonna open one of my previous repos and it looks like it actually loaded. Amazing. All we need to do is write a full program using my phone and see what it's like. Okay, so I've coded up two problem sets from a CS50 right now on my phone. And while I can do it, there's two major problems that I've come across so far. First of all, coding on your phone is just really clunky. It's not exactly the most pleasant experience, if I can put it that way. Um, and the second one is that my thumbs are actually hurting. <laughs> like, I, I don't know if you can see, but like, sort of like difficult to move. It's like, almost like cramping, like, I don't know. And it seems like we type on our phones a lot. But when you're coding a full app on your phone, you're literally typing so much that your thumbs literally start cramping. I don't think we're meant to type on our phones as much as you need to when you're coding. But yeah, I'll keep going for a bit more and then sort of conclude what I think. Okay, so as a conclusion, can you code an app on your phone? You can. All you have to do is use one of these browser-based IEDs that you can access via your phone's browser as much as you can access it on your computer, and you can just start coding on your phone. However, <laughs> it's not the most pleasant experience in the world, and I would say that if you are in the situation, like someone you have messaged me that you literally cannot afford a computer, but you really, really want to start coding. Yes, you can do it on your phone. Just buy a textbook to study with or access some online lectures. And yes, you can do exercises. You can follow along on your phone if you really need to. However, if you can access any computer, I would definitely recommend that you do that. It, it's just not a very pleasant experience. You're not meant to be coding on your phone, but to get started with, if you absolutely need to, you, you can, you can. Just very frustrating. Your thumbs are gonna be absolutely killing you. So you can do it. You just probably shouldn't. That's what I'm gonna say about it. Let me know if you wanna see more challenge like is videos like this in the future. And for now, I highly recommend you check out one of these videos next. This one is about a Python automation project. And this one is my story of how I learned to code in just four months. Definitely not on a phone though.